sense as always i'm josh and i'm ted and today we've got a good episode for you um we're gonna be talking a little different things but they all cover you know one specific category and that's one of our biggest loves of all time pokemon pokemon gotta catch them all (laughs) yeah that didn't actually sound that bad <laughs> uh but anyways we got a couple of things here we want to talk about uh of course the uh the pokemon let's go games that came out uh, a few weeks ago um <clears throat> we've got some news uh about or at least as much as we know about the new pokemon movie but uh that was just announced um and then uh <clears throat> Just some, you know, general other things. Uh, I think we've even got some uh, news about uh, the Gen 8 games that are supposed to be due out next week. No, not next week, sorry. I wish. Next year. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, next year. Um, so, uh, without further ado, I'm going to ha- hand it over to our Pokemon expert, <clears throat> Mr. Ted. All right, guys. What's up from here? Um, so, let's talk about, talk about Let's Go. <clears throat> so... When I first heard about Let's Go, I was kind of on the fence about it because, I mean, everyone played Pokemon Go when it came out, but it eventually kind of died off for me. Like, you know, it was just tired of seeing the same things over and over, so I stopped playing it. So when Let's Go came out, that's probably when I started playing it again because I knew it was going to connect back to it. I was probably starting before that a little bit. Mm-hmm. And uh, what I was worried about when Let's Go came out is that how much of Pokemon Go it was like. I didn't like how they took out the wild encounters that you find, like, running in grass, you know? Well, I mean, they still have it. Yeah, you but just, they still have not battle it. anymore, that's it. I didn't like that at first, and then I was worried about <clears throat> them making it too easy, because I know it's a kid's game, but at the, sort, at, the, at the core of this game is mostly veteran players, and then, you know, the kids just follow oh, yeah. in for the toys. It's toy. really I, I feel like, based I feel like the kids are for the toys, and then the games are for... The veterans, the older, I feel like that's how it is. Cause that's how they make their money. Toys make money. Yeah. So, um, there's a lot of stuff I was worried about because I played all the games, all the RPG, and I love the RPG games and everything. So, I was kind of worried about it. But after playing it and beating it, I know you haven't completely beat it. I'm about halfway. Halfway. I, I beat it. And, um, and I really like, and I, it blew my mind how well I really liked it. It was a good game. It was a good, I already told Josh when I first heard that this was going to be the prototype of what can be for the game. Because when they announced this game, they said, oh, don't worry. There's a, um original RPG game that mm-hmm. continues the generations coming out in 2019. <clears throat> so I, I felt like this was the prototype for it to see how... They can do it, and this new engine, it's just test, you know. But it, it did really good. Um, I know a lot of people, there's, like, people who don't want the walking Pokemon and Pooh, and I, I feel like it was good because I feel like yeah. it's been a while since we had them. I know in all the um, <clears throat> the ROM hacks and other games, they have them walking, so, you know, I've seen, them, I've seen them and played them like that, and I know the last game I had it was Soul Silver and... Yeah, you had the ability to walk whichever Pokemon was first in your party. Yeah, so that was pretty cool, and um, I liked. I also, I also was taken back how I liked how the Pokemon popped up because it was more realism how the world that works. Was, yeah, that was definitely one of my favorite parts. Yeah, and it also took out a lot of uh, the annoying things of like trying to find that Pokemon, because I could just stand still, honestly. Or taking two steps in Rock Tunnel and yeah. entering into a And it battle. also shows you how short the games are, because you really didn't run into it. If you wanted to <clears> ju- <throat> juke the Pokemon, you could, and then you can get to where you wanted to. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was a pretty good game, but, um, I hope, with some things I hope they keep in Gen 8 is probably the wild, the, the encounters they have now, but uh, I don't know if I talked to you about with you, <clears throat> or someone else, but what I sort of like, I, I like the whole Pokemon Go essence of how you gotta flick it. I mean, that's cool, but I don't. And but I know you haven't seen it yet. I don't think you've seen it. But when you fight the legendary Pokemon, you battle it first, weaken it, and when and you defeat you it, and then you the... catch it. 
So I was like, if you can do that for the legendaries, why can't you do that for the regular counter? Because they put a five minute timer on the legendary Pokemon. So why can't they do that yeah. for that? Because that's more scary than me throwing Pokeballs and then running away instantly. Yeah. Because like depending, you can do by like level. Because you can do you can do both. Because like in the game, you earn less experience battling um, trainers than you do battling wild encounters. Because you can go on a combo streak. Oh yeah, and you, you do have the potential. XL of, large of, small. Uh, yeah, of uh, <clears throat> getting more experience from yeah. just catching a Pokemon. So, so if I'm and it gets kind of like I rather just like hit tackle or whatever I'm playing and kill the Pokemon. Mm-hmm. It's sort of like that kind of grind other than just trying to flick yeah. the ball. I, honestly, for Gen 8, it, it, and I'm sorry to cut in here, but um, I would really like it if they keep the whole, you know, you're able to see what Pokemon are in the area. Mm-hmm. But yet, they, you know, when you go in to uh, try and catch them they still have the battle feature yeah that, that would be amazing to keep because that's like in, that's like in the show you <clears throat> battle the pokemon and then you have a chance to catch it that's yeah. how that's how exactly that. you have to weaken it to to catch it you mm-hmm. can't just you i mean you can't just be ash trying to catch a caterpie and throw mm-hmm. a pokeball and be like oh yeah i got <clears throat> it um yeah but i mean obviously they it was a it was a huge attempt to bridge the core series to pokemon go mm-hmm. and they're pretty um, good yeah, it, and it was, you know, obviously it's a, it's an obvious attempt to revive Pokemon Go. I know it's not exactly dead, but it was a, an attempt to bring, you know, more attention to it and bring it, you know, back to the full yeah, scale hey, when it originally launched. We're still here. And, I'm, and it worked, too. I know a lot of people. Are, and I think the biggest thing that drew a lot of people was the fact that you could use the Pokemon you caught in Pokemon Go, mm-hmm. at least as long as they were Gen 1. You could transfer them over to your game. Yeah, and you can keep them on... You can keep them on there. But yeah, that was pretty cool. And I'm walking Pokemon and um, the Pikachu and Eevee was, was a good show. Uh, they're all maxed out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they made it easier to find shiny Pokemon. Which was, was, well, it's not easier, but it's more... Yeah, it's still a rare encounter. Yeah. But uh, at least you can see it. I could put on some fucking music and just leave my thing there and I just look at my screen and, you know, other than that, I have to keep... Learning in circles or <coughs> finding encounters or hatching eggs and stuff like that. So it's cool from that section. But some things that I guess you did bother me. Let's see what did bother me. I guess because I, mean, I know because um, I know that it is a kids game and this is sort of a more more of a kids game because you know because I think and think that when they first announced it, I guess they said that this is for the people who can't afford cell phones to play Pokemon Go. But I'm like, okay, but kids can afford a Switch. <laughs> From the, you yeah. know what I mean? And that's a lie. I work with kids, and I know that's a lie because these kids have cell phones and tablets. So I know they playing this game. They tell me how to play this game <laughs> when I pull my phone out. <clears throat> but, but yeah, that's just, I don't know, with me, it's just like the the trainers, like the, the gyms only have like three Pokemon at a time. I think, yeah. I, I forgot how many they get later. I think four the Elite Four has the Pokemon that they're supposed to have. Yeah. And um, it's just like, this is a train of like a difficult. I know that, like, spoiler, but after you beat the game, you could rebattle all the people again and they have Ooh. stronger Pokemon. So that's cool, too. That'll be fun. Yeah, that's cool. But um, one thing I did, didn't did like about it, which I was hoping there was like some kind of secret at the end, but there's not. I don't know if people watching understand what Gen 1ers are, but they are um, people who love Gen 1. Like constantly, like they, every other generation that will come out, they'll be like, "Oh, Gen One was better," or they'll be like, "Oh, this Pokemon doesn't isn't cool," you know? Yeah. Like people make fun of. Um, they're basically people who don't <coughs> go past Gen One in Pokemon, like yeah. whether they're playing the card game or the video games yeah. or watching the anime. Yeah, because people can make fun of Trubbish, who's a trash bag, and they say, "Oh, we're out of designs, they're out of ideas," but then you can go back and say, "Isn't, isn't freaking Grimer just a pile of?" goop like what are you gonna yeah like because with me as a as a person i love there's not one pokemon i say i'm gonna say like oh that's stupid i I like all of them like i could generally say i like all of them and i like there's stuff in the games that i don't like (coughs) like some differences but i like all the games like there's not one i'm like i regret buying this like they're all fun but just uh just kind of trying to remember that this is a kid's game when i was playing it like, all right, this is, you know, because kids want to play this game. 
you have to have the right typing for the first gym, and you have to have a certain amount of Pokemon for this one, or have a cute Pokemon to go here, and mm-hmm. it's like, oh, okay. And I think my friend even said that there's one gym who asked, oh, let me, if you have a cute Pokemon, show it to me. And then they showed him like an ugly Pokemon, and they're like, oh, it's cute. So it's like, is all of them cute? <laughs> like, like, was this no challenge for this gym? <laughs> but I will say the gyms in, in general, they're really, they're really great designs. Like, oh yeah, yeah. I like how I the like people. I like the addition of the the stands with the people. Yeah, with the people. Watching. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's really cool, and um, yeah, and they kept Team Rocket. Team Rocket's there again, and but um, the Gen back when I was saying the Gen One, <clears throat> it's just that with for me, as I was saying that I like all the um, Pokemon games. What's really bothering me. Is that in Gen 7, Alolan Pokemon were there. And that's because of the 20th anniversary. I get it, you know. They want to do something big. So they redid a bunch of designs for Gen 1 Pokemon. And called them Alolan forms. Mm-hmm. So we had Gen 1 there. And then we had 7th Gen again with Ultra Sun and Moon. And I'm like, okay, so what are they going to do, Gen 2 Pokemon? And I'm like, you know, the people with like always theories and showing Pokemon mixed with other, you know. Right. Other yeah, um, we didn't get. typings and stuff, and and then it's still Gen One Pokemon, <clears throat> and then here we go again with um, Pokemon Let's Go, and I was hoping like, oh maybe there'll be like some kind of secret, like maybe we'll get we could find other Pokemon, not like new Pokemon, but you know mm-hmm. like maybe we'll find like Gen Two Pokemon or something, but no, it's still Gen One, and I know a lot of people in the community like there's, I'm getting tired of seeing Gen One Pokemon, like yeah. I'm getting tired of it. I don't care if they're a lowland or not, but other there's a, almost a thousand Pokemon out there that you can get redesigned, and they're just focused on Gen One. And I'm like, like if I get Gen Eight and I see another Gen One Pokemon that's lowland form, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Please give me a break, dude. This is Gen Eight. I don't want to see no remaster. You could bring them, like you know, obviously they're gonna bring them. Looks like they brought the Mega Evolutions and everything with them, yeah. but like I don't want to see like an lowland. Well, who, Needle King or something like, dude, Gen Eight, new Pokemon. <laughs> like, I want new ones. But that was like another thing that I hope that is probably gonna kill it because I know I, I was watching a lot of reviews who people who were saying that they're like they're just tired of Gen One. Yeah. And if you've been playing along, how many Gen Ones we got? Red, blue, yellow, leaf green, fire red, red. and then of course. Well, and here's the thing too. You go back to Kanto in silver, yeah, gold, gold and silver. You go back crystal. there. Yeah, you go back uh, same there. Same thing in soul silver and heart gold. Mm-hmm. Um, and of course, you you hear uh, Kanto referenced all throughout mm. Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon. Yeah, um, nonstop. <laughs> and even uh, what's her name? The um, the main girl. From uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Lily, Moon. Lily, she goes to Kanto at the end yeah, of the story. She goes there, um, and then of course now we're back here with Pokemon Let's Go. Mm-hmm. And even then, there's still references to well, there's references that connected to Sun and Moon, and this is like yeah, and like it's not a complaint. Like yeah, it's like come on, yeah, it's a Pokemon game. You know, they needed to start somewhere. You know, they need to practice for something. I don't know. They wouldn't want to just release Gen Eight as the first. Pokemon console game, you know? Yeah. So, this is what I was And it was thinking. most likely to coincide with the, you know, the, the recent movies with the Pokemon I Choose You and... Yeah. And now uh, another Power Gen Bugs. 1. <laughs> but even though it had all the other regions and other yeah. Pokemon in it, but yeah. It's probably more tolerable. But, yeah, that's what I was worried. That's what kind of bugged me through. They're like, dude, okay. Like, oh, um, you know, one of the things that I actually really liked was the addition of the coach trainers that are, like, really strong oh, here you and there. Oh, you yeah. And they actually give you decent XP. Mm-hmm. The only bad thing is you can only battle them once there at the beginning. Yeah. Those are pretty cool. But yeah. That was probably... And then the rest is just, like... It's just, like... It's just, like, yellow. I know they brought a bunch of, um... I know they have... They show green in the trailer. If people don't know, green is, like, the, the manga version. Well, yeah, and she was originally, the whole thing oh, is, is about Green. Um, originally, with the original, and I'm saying original a lot here, but with red, yellow, uh, red and blue, you were actually m- supposed to be able to choose between male or female. And then your female, obviously, was supposed to be green. <clears throat> yeah. 
Um, so that's a throwback to that, too. Oh, you don't want to speak about throwbacks. Uh, it's probably a spoiler, but not really, because you're going to find out. It's not like story mode spoiler, but... I mean, I pretty much know the story. And um, <laughs> when you fight, because red, cause red is in there, right? Yeah. And blue's in there, and green's in there. So, when you fight red, he has a Venusaur. When you fight blue... Oh, he has a Charmander. He has a Charizard. Charizard. And when you fight green, she has a Blastoise. And that's just like the manga. That's how the manga... Cause yeah. Ash's first Pokemon was a Poliwhirl. Then he found... Then he got Bulbasaur. And then he got P- Pikachu. And then that's where it started off. And then um, green stole her Squirtle. And then blue took Charmander. <laughs> so I thought that was a pretty... That was cool. Yeah. Shout out to that. And so that was pretty cool. And then um, I like how they put red in there because... A lot of people are like, oh, yeah, you were playing as Red, but nope, like, it's Pokemon Yellow, time. so you're playing as Ash. And then they're like, oh, look at that. Who's that? That's Red. And then you would have, um, have you talked to you talked to Gary already, have you? Mm. A Blue. Or oh, yeah, Gary, I guess. I mean, I've seen him a couple of times. Yeah, but you talked to him, right? Yeah. Yeah, and even he, and then it's a whole different world because he says, oh, when I did this for my gramps, I had only a pencil and paper. And I'm like, where are we? Yeah, it's, it's, it <laughs> seems like we? they've already gone on their journey. And the whole timeline or universe is a whole another video. It's like. It's crazy. Yeah, that's, but, that, that'll be something for another video. Yeah, another so time. that's why I, I liked about that. I like when getting twists and turns in Pokemon. But yeah, but it was a good game. I like it, but <clears throat> after you beat it, it's just like, yeah. I can, Not much to do. Yeah, I, I, I try to train Pokemon and catch what I want, but then. Right. It's like, because like, the way, cause the way in, in the game to get perfect IV Pokemon, you have to catch Pokemon to the combo past 30. And everything after that, there's stats would be maxed out it's just you trying to find a nature oh okay and then I was doing that but if you somehow they run away or you it breaks your combo yeah and I'm like I'm done like I'm not gonna do this again <laughs> cause I, I was doing a magic heart and, I, and it, that's also raises the chance for a shiny if you go past 30 mm-hmm. or so so you know I was doing it and then I was throwing ultra balls at this magic carp a magic carp and he kept breaking out and he ran away I was like Let's go play PlayStation, guys. <laughs> I'm not playing this again. <laughs> so it's like tense. It's like mentally draining. Yeah. But um, and there's also a way you could. There's a person you could talk to, and they rig the game for you so you can get certain nature Pokemon for the whole time till you turn the game off. It costs like 10k. <laughs> but like, if I want, like, I was looking for a Growlithe, and I wanted a Jolly one. So I talk to the lady, and you pick whatever you want, and then not whatever you want, but you pick certain one, and then. He's like, oh, all Pokemon you will find are jolly. So, you know, I ran around, looked, caught like 40 of those suckers and found a good one. I was like, thank God. <laughs> but, but, yeah, that's pretty cool. The changing nature is, is helpful, if, but I, they only did that because I'm pretty sure you can't. There, there's no breeding in that game because mm. if I could breed, um, I'm good. That well, means. they have the daycare center. Yeah, but it's just it's not breeding. Oh, it just levels them up? Yeah, it's just like Gen 1. So, yeah, it just levels them up when you put them in there. Cause I thought so too. Like, oh, we can breed in this game, but no, we can't. Yeah, well, you couldn't breed in the original. Yeah. So some things you'll take into Gen Eight is like the following Pokemon, the like Pokemon walking around in the overworld. That's cool. Mm-hmm. And then battling them to weaken <clears> them <throat> and then catching them with the, on the timer. That would be cool. Let's see, the graphics are great. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's no no argument with that. Yeah, I loved it. And the animation of the Pokemon walking was great. Like you know, it wasn't all the same. Like, you yeah. have, like, I seen when you run with, when you catch a Snorlax. Did you see that one? No, not yet. You could ride a Snorlax. Really? And you, and he, <laughs> you're on his chest, and he's running. He's like, <laughs> 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 and then, yeah, so. And there's a lot of Pokemon I didn't know I could ride. Like, I seen someone ride a Persian. I'm like, he's that big? Yeah, I guess they can be. To hold a human? <laughs> I was like, dang. Well, you also have Arcanine's to remember these are 10-year-olds. You gotta remember these are ten year olds, dude. When can you, do that's a lion. <laughs> like I can't picture a cat or a freaking. Well, I mean, have you seen how big a lion is? Yeah, I know, but Persian's they could not carry a, lion. a ten year old it's easily. Still a cat. <laughs> they could carry a ten year old easily. But yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's really good. But like I said, after that, so hopefully they're really looking at it. So they're like, okay, what can we fix? Because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like a regular game. It's gonna be longer than Let's Go. Yeah, that would that would be nice. Yeah. But We're still waiting for that more adult themed game. Yeah, game okay, freak. Come yeah, on. Pokemon get cut in half. Like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, 
but it's going in the right direction for, yeah, for Pokemon in general. Because um, I know I know they have Mega Evolution in there. I know a lot of people don't want Z moves again. That kind of broke the game. Yeah. Competitively. I mean, I think we're kind of stuck with them at this point, at least the ones that we have. Yeah. yeah. Don't think they're going to go away. Yeah. Because they, the same thing with Megas, like, they didn't like, get rid of You're, you're going to end up having people that either, you know, specialize with Mega Pokemon. Um, others will specialize with Z move. Or have all of them on one team. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but the Pokemon game was fun. They'll it, have Mega Evolution Pokemon that know Z moves. Yeah. That's going to be some type of fun. You know what I thought was interesting, though? Mm. Um, they took out the basic HMs. Oh, yeah. And then you I mean, have... they're still there in a sense, but they're not... We're, like, like cutting all that? Yeah, you, you know, you, there, there's no cut, there's no fly, there's no... Uh, um, there's no... Ta- or not tackle, but... Um, um, strength. Yeah. The same thing in 7th Gen. They took well, out. yeah, but they, they had... Um, they ride had Pokemon. Pokemon specially for that. Yeah, right, Pokemon. I mean, um... But your fucking Pikachu and Eevee is like fucking MacGyver and can do everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, exactly. The same thing with Eevee. Yeah. Um, it's like, it's, I mean, it's a little interesting. Um, yeah, you know, it's kind of cool that it doesn't take up a, a, a move anymore. slot anymore. Yeah. So you can literally sit there and teach your Pokemon whatever you actually want them to learn. Mm. Um, and not have to worry about it. Although I don't know how Fly is going to work with Eevee. I don't know. <laughs> Pikachu, Pikachu has one called Floaty Fall. He flies in the air, blooms, and, and it flinches. All right. <laughs> There's also um, Zippy Zap or something like that. that oh, yeah. That move is that broken. W- that that needs to be a real move in the, <laughs> in the, in the next game. <laughs> with starter or not, because that's, that's a priority electric move that crits every time. That's and, crazy. And just by those names, though. Uh, Batty, you know, you can, you can definitely tell that this was a game created for kids. And then what was else? What else is there? I don't know. What, Evie has a bunch of them. Yeah. Well, is uh, as far as I know, as far as I've gotten in the game so far, um, Evie has three moves that she can learn, um, and it's a it's a water move, a fire move, and an electric move. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I forget I, I forget what their actual names are. Like, I partially don't want to repeat them on there's air. One, there's one EV has that I like. It's called Batty Bad, and it's, it became like a meme in the community. It was like, oh, when you feel when you see that one hot girl, she's a Batty Bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. That was pretty funny. I'm not surprised at all. Yeah, get that needs to go away. But Zippy Zap or whatever it's called, Pikachu's thing, that needs to be a real move because the priority electric move. I think EV can learn that one as well. I think so. I'm pretty, it has to learn some electric move. But yeah, that's pretty cool. That'd be kind of cool to have uh, three extra EVs, teach them each the one, and then evolve them into the... Oh yeah, the other one. Into, like... I forgot, there's a Pokemon that does that. You can teach it a certain move and then evolve it, and then it's like, typing's not the same anymore, and it still knows it. I forgot what Pokemon that was, I did that once. But, but yeah, I mean, I... As I'm playing it, I was, it was fun, but then I was like, man, I miss this, I miss that, I miss this, I miss breeding, I miss, because I'm, I'm, like, I'm, like I said, I'm a hardcore Pokemon, I breed, I don't, I don't use hacks and stuff, like, as much as I wish I could, because I want to have a life, things a lot easier. I want to have a life, but, <laughs> but no, like, it, like, if you battle me on Wi-Fi and it tells you how many eggs, I'm pretty sure it's going to be an infinity symbol, because, because <laughs> I, I, I was, look, I was on the hunt for perfect EVs, shinies. I and mean, it's fun because that because once the game's over, there's nothing else I can do. So that's the only fun I have with the yeah. game until I battle somebody. Yeah, it's grindy like that, and then EV training and all that. It's fun, and I missed it. It's and not it's, the same. It's no fun kicking my ass every time. <laughs> it's just it's one of that fun, but it went in a good direction. I'm glad it did well. It did. I know a lot of people reactions of the YouTubers I follow. They're like, I'm surprised. I had fun with it. I know one guy didn't like it, but his reason was because he was tired of Jedi. Yeah, and see, that's a, you know, yes, we had our, our concerns, but we, you and I both went into playing the games with an open mind. Mm-hmm. And actually, you know, we ended up seeing a lot of things that we were like, oh, yeah, I really want to see this. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, and I don't think either of us were let down by it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's like, so many of these people, uh, these YouTubers and, uh, and people who are rating the games is like, they, they go in there with such a closed mind or, you know, certain expectations and, 
you know, when it doesn't meet their expectations, mm-hmm. all of a sudden it's a bad game. Yeah, because I know, you know, because I know the ones I watch. It's the same thing with people who sit there and go and and, and critique uh, video game movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what? There's a long history of bad video game movies, but there's also a couple of good ones out there. You know, and it's the whole thing, the whole controversy going into uh, um, the Detective Pikachu movie, too. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you just got to go into it with an open mind. And right. then let, you know, either either the game is going to be bad or it's going to be good. But it mm-hmm. may not be bad for everyone, and it may not be good for everyone. Yeah, because I know the people I watch who play Pokemon, they're the ones who, like, are, like, the Pokemon people in the community. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're they're more like my age, so. Yeah. And then the way they talk about it is that they love the game, but they just hate how stuff is executed. It's like they don't listen to us. I guess well, you you're say. only what a year or two younger than me. Yeah, but like it's different for me going on YouTube and watching some kid play and be like, "Oh yeah, this sucks!" Like, "Oh, you don't even know what this is, kid." But right. these people are the ones who played with me, like me, from the start. You know, nonstop. Like these people only yeah. do Pokemon. Like they call it Poke Tubers. So, when they like, some of them are like, "Oh, this is really good," and then I know some of them have their critiques. But that's why like, we call you the resident Pokemon expert. Yeah, because like it's just, and I and I feel for it, but like because like I said, I like all the Pokemon. I like I like Let's Go, but like it's stuff you need to tweak to make the next game better. So if this is is the practice for it, yeah, then a lot of stuff needs to be fixed so it could be long living after its time until the next one. Yeah. So. So those, here's for hoping for yeah. Pokemon. <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, what do we know about uh, the the upcoming uh, Pokemon movie? The next Pokemon movie is Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution. At first, it was just a picture of Mewtwo. When I first seen it, I thought it was a CG, like a CGI one. Like I don't know what mm-hmm. I would call it, but I guess it's not. Um, what I from what I read, it's um. <laughs> The Japanese trailer was described as it being pitch black, bubbles coming up, I said the legend is back, and then it's Mewtwo sh- shows him opening his eye, and it says, where am I, who am I, and then it says, Pokemon, Mewtwo strikes back, evolution. So, it's rather, they cloned another Mewtwo after the other one ran away and killed everybody, <laughs> <laughs> or, or it is a retelling of... That would of, definitely be something Giovanni would do. Or it's a retelling of... Mewtwo Strikes Back because I know in the new universe in the whatever the new Pokemon Marvel universe I guess I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what happened to it it just started from the beginning with uh, I Choose You but um I won't lie as I love the movies and everything as well I sort of like these ones better than the old movies I, other than the first I mean, other know, than the first two yeah I mean the the first two I think are always gonna be but even the first uh, Pokemon endearing. I Choose You movie isn't even the first movie in the, in the franchise, but it's a good, yeah. It's a cool because like, because when I was little and when Pokemon came out, when they went to Gen two and then they got to the, like and they showed the baby Pokemon, yeah. I'm like, where were these? So you're telling me that none of these Pokemon bred over here and they bred over here because <laughs> of a daycare, yeah. And then when they went back to Palatown and then they showed them walking through like Viridian Forest and you see Iggly Buff, I was like, where were you guys? Was there some kind of tunnel that opened and? They all just ran through? Yeah. Like, what did it make no sense? Because, so, I mean, you got what? you got uh, Pichu, Igglybuff, uh, Cleffa, Cleffa, Smoochum, Magby, Ela Kid, Togekiss. Yeah, it's like, where the hell were all these? Yeah, even in freaking Togepi was found in Kanto. What was that? Yeah. Who was his parents? <laughs> <laughs> and then they find out that he's a guardian from a different <laughs> whatever and he's a guardian of time or oh my goodness remember when he gave him Misty gave him away and he evolved into a token tick <coughs> because there was a people a kingdom that worshipped him episode. yeah it was it was like it was like the toad the toad stools <laughs> like it was like a bunch of people with token now we've got a Pokemon Mario yeah crossover. there was like a bunch of people like king and queen who were like Togepi eggs on their head and oh crowns yeah it was so ridiculous but Misty came back that episode and she had a Gyarados and it was like killing it so really cool. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so like I was so when I seen Pokemon I choose you and I seen the Cinnaroar and then when you watched it with me, we seen like a bunch of Pokemon in the background. Like you do have Lucario, yeah, and Piplup, and they're like, oh wow, what is this? They're like, oh yeah, this is our universe. They live here. I know these Pokemon yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so it was pretty cool to see that. And then the second one that came out is um, the Power of Us. I think is with Japan, and then 
I think when I looked it up before this, it was in English. It's called um, um, Power of Us. It's called Everyone's Story in English. Really? Yeah. Really? So, and then if you, you couldn't have just kept Power of Us. Yeah, and if you guys don't know that. I mean, yeah, it's a blatant riff off of the last name. This, but yes. Come on. So, if you don't know, the second Pokemon movie that everyone was Pokemon 2000, The Power of One, because yes. Ash was supposed to be the chosen one. That and, you know, the world will turn to ash. Out. Yeah, the, t- the world will turn to ash. And he was like, That's me. He's like, No, dude, these Pokemon will burn down this <laughs> earth into ash. You're not special. <laughs> but, but yeah, so when this one came out, this one was called The Power of Us, and it has Logie in it, and it has some other people in there. So, you know, it was sort of like that. And then the, I guess they renamed it to our story. My question is now, I love Lugia. He's one of my favorite legendaries. Yeah, or he is cool. It is one of my favorite legendaries, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, but what gave them the idea to name it after something you spit out of your throat that's filled with phlegm? You know what? <laughs> there, I watch these people, um, the King Nappy, if you guys will ever find this. Um, and he has a friend named Nexus. Nexus is a funny guy. He says that, he argues and defends that Lugia is based off a of beluga whale. And every time they do, they have like the funniest arguments, dude. He was like, "You'll be like, dude, pull a picture of beluga whale and put it next to Lugia. You see it?" And he's like, "No, he's like you see it." <laughs> what? It's so funny, and I was like, "I don't understand." But yeah, I don't know why they call it Lugia. Lugia. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's that's immediately what your mind goes to. That's that's immediately what every adult mind goes to. But um, um, with the new movie, um, it's about me too. So and then the last one's about Lugia. So, oh, I don't, I, I know the first Pokemon movie, everyone will say is the best. Like, you know, Mewtwo Strikes Back. Yeah. It, it was good, like, you know, for the first Pokemon I mean, movie we haven't, ever. we haven't seen Power of Us yet. Yeah. Um, I'm talking about, no, I'm talking about Mewtwo Strikes Back, like the first one. Yeah, no, I know, but, I mean, Pokemon I Choose You was good. It would, hands down, it was good. There's no arguing with it. Yeah. Um. So if, if Power of Us is anything like I Choose You, mm-hmm. then I, I, I'm i pretty sure we can expect the same quality from the new yeah. movie. And like, yes, I get it. You know, um, Mewtwo Strikes Back, the original, obviously always is always going to be a fan favorite. Yeah. It's always going to be endearing. Why? Because it was quality. Mm-hmm. You know, and it was, even, it was even more quality than we got sometimes in the anime. You know, especially during that first season. Yeah. Uh, because... Let me tell you, there were there were some good episodes in the first season, but there were some really really crappy ones too. Yeah, there were. Um, I mean, hell, there were even episodes that we weren't allowed to see, mm-hmm. <laughs> like the the episode where James had boobs. Yeah. When I was younger, <laughs> I was like, "Why is that bad?" Don't. You know, when I got older, older, I was like, oh. "Yeah." And of course, we We're never we never those. got to see uh, the Porygon episode. Well, the seizure. Episode. It was never even translated into English. Um, yeah, and you, you're hard-pressed to find it even now. Yeah, um, I didn't look for it after I found out because you had seizures. I mean, I don't, I'm not worried about have having it. any seizures. I don't think I have any sort of epilepsy. I don't want but, to uh, I don't want to. I don't want to have it after seeing it. Yeah. <laughs> um, although I'm pretty sure that doesn't work, and we probably should not make fun of that because it is a serious yeah, condition. Yeah, but I'm saying, um, like, yeah, I don't, want to, I don't want it to be out. If it's, we can't find it, that's good for everybody. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, but, um, but, yeah, so, I mean, you know... Once again, I have to go back to saying you kind of have to go into it with an open mind. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, sure. There's going to be people that are going to close their minds and be like, no, we like the original and nothing else. We're never going to mm-hmm. see the new one. Um, and I say, well, that sucks for you. Because if this new one turns out to be good, you're going to miss out. Yeah, so I, um, before, the sh- before, <coughs> before we started recording, I, I don't know why it made me look at box offices to see how this would go. So, um, Pokemon I Choose You had was released November fifth, twenty seventeen, and it had two million. Oh wait, two okay. million. Yeah, two million domestic and <coughs> worldwide is two million as well. I guess I don't know what that means, but yeah, it's two million. And then let's see, let me go back. I don't remember. Now, for an anime movie that was probably only in theaters here in the U.S. for you know. Uh, a couple of days out of a out week. of a week. Yeah, uh, that's pretty damn good, people. Yeah, power of us. It's twenty one million. Oh, so that did ten times as well as the first one. Yeah, and that's. Let's see. That says Japan. 
So let me click this. So this is. And we will fact check all of this for you guys. Yeah, so it says right here. Maybe you should look it up because you're better with this. But uh, unfortunately, domestic, my phone's on the charger. Domestic total of December third, twenty eighteen, was seven hundred eighty nine thousand. So I don't know where this two. Maybe that was in Japan. Oh yeah, that makes sense. So it's twenty one million in Japan, mm -hmm. but in America, it was only seven hundred eighty nine thousand. Now was that the first weekend or was that total? That says of December third, twenty eighteen. So I think. So that was just the one day. Yeah, I guess so. But it says domestic though when it's foreign. Because remember, we didn't even know it was out. Yeah. <laughs> so we missed it. Yeah, I thought it was coming out. I Because that because it was only, December 3rd was the last day. That was, was the it? last day. Yeah, okay. So that was the last day. So, so it was like, only showing one day. No, it was showing that week, oh, but okay. probably different times. So yeah, that whole one yeah. week we had it in, in America, only did that. So that sucked. Yep. So I don't know why they want to give it chances. I feel like if you give it a chance to have it just running with all the other ones, then I'm pretty sure they'll do more. Yeah. Because I, I know for us, for where we live... All the anime stuff is at seven o'clock at night, and I and if I was a parent taking my kid to go see a Pokemon movie, I'm not gonna take them to seven o'clock at night. Well, yeah, well, especially not here in Stockton. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm not gonna hey, now you guys all know where we live if you didn't yeah. know already. So, yeah, so you now you know how dangerous it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was a couple of years ago where we were rated number one in crime <gasps> out of the entire U.S. That means, ladies and gentlemen, we even beat Detroit. You hear that, Mr. Class? That one year. We were number one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's not necessarily something to be proud of, mind you. Uh, yes. But yeah, that just kind of tells you how bad it is here. So, for this Pokemon movie to work, because I, I mean, I haven't seen the second one, but just, if you guys don't know, I guess it was, has a lot we of... We will see it, though. There's a lot, of, in the movie, there's a lot of different people having different problems. There's one Pokemon person who didn't want to be a Pokemon trainer, one who hated Pokemon, one's having trouble doing this. So that's why it was called The Power of Us, because they all have problems and they came together to do it. So, and I sort of like how they all have a meaning to it. I mean, all the Pokemon movies, I think the second one had a meaning. Ash was supposed to be the chosen one. Mewtwo, what was the meaning of this first one? <laughs> different since it doesn't matter. It, it was more of a, it doesn't matter where you come from, it yeah. matters uh, who you de decide to be. Yeah, because all the clone Pokemon. But yeah, so I'm hoping this one would be cool, because I don't know how, because uh, if you don't know, the first Poke the Pokemon I Choose You, and the power of us, or our story, whatever it's called, it's two different animations. That's one thing I could say I don't like. Okay. I like the first, I, I choose use animation compared to this one. Yeah, it was more. Uh, you know what? Actually, it's just Ash. Ash is the only one who, because like the people there look cool, but Ash just looks like super animated, like kawaii, like he was made to look cute or something. Like he mm. has like blush and I don't know, like not blush, blush, not like girl, or, like a girl, but like he, you could tell like he has stuff more added to him. Mm-hmm. But I guess, I don't know, so I mean, consistency of the animation. You want to be like Dragon Ball Super where we go with a different animation. Right. And they but, cut, you know, they cut to a different style of animation halfway through. Yeah, so that's one thing I'm worried about. But for this to go, if it follows the first one, the first one was a good movie. I yeah. don't know if it's going to have to do with clones and everything, but, you know, if they're going to do this thing in the open world of all generations and all 900-something Pokemon, then... yeah. Well, I mean, it seems like it's going to be a uh, almost like a reboot of the original. It sounds like it. So, so. I mean, and, and you know, it, it, it does make sense because, um, you you know, you've got so many Pokemon now. It's like to sit there and watch the old movies where you know it's you know just the Pokemon that were out at the time mm -hmm. is like, oh well, we know certain things. You know, that's you know this is this, and you know that kind of. I wonder how we can go back and watch Pokemon. Like, man, how much do I wish I had a Tyranitar during this yeah, <laughs> during exactly. this Entei? I would have whooped his ass. <laughs> but, or I wish I had this Pokemon. Or I wish I had this Pokemon. Yeah. You know, the coolest thing, uh, not about the movie, what I liked about Unpredictability is the episode in, in Pokemon anime when that dude came from Hoenn with that Combuskin. You remember that? Mm -mm. There's, it was in Gen... I think it was... Yeah, Pokemon... Uh, Pokemon Johto, that okay. scene, there's a guy who came out of nowhere. He's like, oh, I'm from, um, the fuck is there, Twin Leaf Town? I don't <laughs> remember. I'm from not this generation. You're the, you're the Pokemon <laughs> expert, not me. Yeah, I'm from this generation. He was like, oh, cool, that's cool. And then this dude pulled out a freaking Blaziken. And 
it was so cool because Blaziken and Charizard fought each other. And then Ash was like, what's this? And he was like, Pokemon not found. I'm like, oh, man, we're in trouble. <laughs> and then he had a Kecleon, and Kecleon was blending in everything. No one knew how because they don't know about him. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, how are we going to let these Pokemon we don't know enter this tournament? <laughs> like, it's just camouflaging. But then they were like, we don't know what it is, but somehow they got approved to get in the tournament. <laughs> so I don't know how that even happened. Then not only to talk about that, that, that was a cool episode. Yeah. Because having like Charizard fight this Pokemon, we don't even know what it is. Yeah. Before the gen comes out, you know, here's a here's a uh, funny little idea. What if, um, and, and this is talking about essentially the universe without Mega Evolution, because we know there are in in fact in Pokemon at least two established universes. Mm-hmm. There's the universe without Mega Evolution, and then the universe with Mega Evolution. Yeah. Meaning any game or uh, anime series that involved Mega Evolution or any game or anime series that didn't involve it, involve it. Mm. So what if the reason that, um, you know, the reason that, the, the, the reason that um, they don't know about the other Pokemon in the other universes is simply because... In the universe without Mega Evolution, maybe something in the war that happened that kept, that stopped Mega Evolution from happening also kept lines of communication closed between the the regions. Mm. Whereas Mega Evolution, everything seems a little more open and cooperative, Mm. if you notice. Yeah. Um, You know, you you got people who mention they're from Johto or Kanto or Hoenn or wherever. Um, all over the place. I mean, you, even in Let's Go, you got people who are talking about Alolan Pokemon. You can actually trade um, people with their regular their forms for their Alolan forms. For their Alolan forms. Yeah. So you have more open communication between the two. Whereas, you know, in the other games, it's like you don't hear about them until they come out, mm-hmm. or the anime, you don't hear about it until it comes out. Like, and like you were saying. Uh, this guy entered the Johto tournament with Pokemon from the Hoenn region and nobody knew what the fuck was going on. Yeah. What the fuck uh, is that? It's a fucking big chicken. So, you know, maybe that grudge from the war is, like, still there mm. and it's keeping all the regions separate. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I know it's not, a, like, a big revelation or anything like yeah. that. For the people, it's just kind of something to ponder on. And for the people who don't watch Pokemon or are listening to this... This, this the theories are crazy, dude. <laughs> like I literally after we did that, what Pokemon episode did we do? We do some Pokemon already. Um, we I think the only other Pokemon episode we've had was talking about Detective Pikachu. Okay, yeah, okay, that one. After that one, I, I went to and then we mentioned a little bit about the Pokemon War as well. Yeah, and then I went back to that dent, and when I went home, I looked up the Pokemon timeline and looked up like what the fuck is going on. And that might be something we we have to do here. Yeah. Uh, Within the next several episodes, and, I, and I, that's what I and that's what people don't get. Like when I tell them I play Pokemon still, I'm like, you guys don't, you guys don't know like the lore. Like this stuff is crazy. Yeah, we have balloons kidnapping kids, <laughs> <laughs> and like people just think it's just Pikachu, Pika Pika. Yeah, you play a fucking kids game. Like no, dude. Like fucking, there's people my age over here competing and winning scholarships and sponsorships and well, that, fucking money. And, and within the last several generations, you've got in in uh, in the Kalos region, uh, you get the story about the Pokemon War. Uh-huh. And a guy who literally uses a giant super laser that wipes out almost all of the Pokemon. Yeah, genocide. Yeah, was <laughs> and then in, uh, in the uh, reboots of Gen 3... You've got the people at the uh, space facility... Who want to harness that power. (laughs) Who want to harness that power to not to destroy the asteroid, but to transport it into another universe so it'll smack into somebody else's Earth. (laughs) Into a universe without Mega Evolution's Earth. It's like, these are some scary people. (laughs) It's crazy, and I I love it. It's just like, uh, I know, like... A lot of people don't understand. I'm like, dude, I love Pokemon, dude. It's great. Like, I love. I mean, I love the games and everything, but like the theories and what people come up with, and it's it's cool to hear. Like, it's really it's a really yeah. cool community. I mean, he has his ups and downs, but it's great. The Pokemon's is great. And then, of course, you know, in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, you get the Rainbow Rocket, who's literally oh yeah, um, the you know the team conquering who the every universes. universes. Yeah, you know, literally conquering the multiverse. Mm-hmm. That like, cool. yeah, like I said, these are some scary ass people. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah, so for the the Muti movie, until something else, yeah, I hope it, it sounds like a reboot of it. I can't really predict with how they're gonna do it. That's not like Dragon Ball Z because Pokemon just has like nine hundred something characters compared to yeah. <laughs> compared to Goku Vegeta. <laughs> and then, I mean, that's yeah. easier to predict, but. Yeah, I don't know what Pokemon's gonna be and what, man. I don't know if Mewtwo's just gonna clone, like, what? <laughs> yeah. Fucking Lugia. What if he is the cloning machine? What if he could just be like. Yeah. <laughs> switch. <laughs> Put that or, in. or maybe he's gonna be like Thanos and try to destroy half the Pokemon in, in, in all the universe. Yeah, and stab a dual blade in him and it's like, shit, hey, for the head. <laughs> be God! <laughs> <laughs> But you yeah. have me out. Yeah. Jesse, James, yeah. I don't feel so good. <laughs> Man, I don't feel bad for them. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, but... Um, oh, sorry, you're going to say something. No, but let's yeah, hope so that... Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to do good, no matter what. Because these new movies, the graphics are great, the battles are great. Like in Pokemon I Choose You, the battle between Incineroar and... Charmeleon, although it was sad, but it was a good, it was a good battle. Yeah, they do really good, and that's what I loved about Pokemon now. That in the Sun and Moon, the battles are so cool. Like mm-hmm. the, that's what I love about it. It's just because some you can tell like some seasons of Pokemon, like oh they're not really trying, you know. It's just, yeah. Then, but when they put like when Ash fought, when Ash fought, no, when Brock fought, um, what's I forgot his name. The fire guy from Sun and Moon. I want to say Kual- Kual- Kiawe, I think. And then he had his Tornator use his Z-move. He's like, I got Z-move, Brock. What do you Gen 1 know about this shit? And he shot the dude. He's like, dude, I have Mega. <laughs> Mega is still, still a tank to And he was like, oh, yeah, you're strong, but Mega Evolution is better. And he just, like, stone-edged that Tornator to death. I was like, dude, that's so crazy. And then you have Ash fighting Misty. Is Misty's Mega Gyarados. Yeah. Riding up the winds. And I love how in that episode, um, everything that didn't make sense, the um, Rotom Dex was like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu, you use Thunderbolt to ride up <laughs> to ride up the whirlwind. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> and then even um, the um, professor who studies Pokemon moves is like, I don't get it. <laughs> it's just like, and he just laughs at it. And everyone's like, typical Ash. Like, yeah, he just knows how to do these things. <laughs> but the battles are great and I, the, the Pokemon I Choose You was good and I don't know anything about the new one but I, I'm pretty sure it was good so I can't wait to see what Mewtwo does Mewtwo better just pick up Pokemon and throw them through the <laughs> some Superman return shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah so is there anything else we need to talk about I think we got it I think we covered everything that we wanted to anyways yeah there's no news on the po- Pikachu Detective movie. Yeah, nothing new on there. Uh, we will let you know if we find out anything new on any of these topics. Yeah. Um, you know, especially Gen 8. And yeah, there's little to know about Gen 8 other than, you know... The we February, know it's coming, we know we're going to get some new Pokemon. February, March is usually the release date when they tell us there's something new. It, yeah, it's usually the announcement date. Yeah, where they tease the name or title or yeah. something and then... We should know a little bit more... I mean, there should. Here's the thing: we should start getting some leaks here in the next couple of months. Yeah, some big leaks. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll we'll keep you guys informed. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, for I guess uh, on that topic, we're you know that's about it. Um, for our next episode, uh, um, check out our uh, social media pages. We'll post it up there. Mm-hmm. We. Don't exactly know what we're doing right at the moment. No. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. We have a lot of ideas. This is picking oh, yeah. on how to space it. Yeah, we don't want to do Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, 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 Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. So we're trying to like. I know this is things. our. I know this is our second Pokemon episode, but we've done already like four or five Dragon Ball Z episodes. So I mean, mm-hmm. we definitely want to talk about some other things. Yeah. Um, like we've got, uh, you know, we. I mean, anything you can pretty much think of that's. In the entertainment industry, mm-hmm. um, I mean, the only thing we really don't cover is, is music and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but you know, movies, TV shows, mm-hmm. video games. Oh, dude, we still gotta watch. We gotta do a video on the Godzilla trailer. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, we definitely need Godzilla, to do that. Godzilla, Toy Story. What else is there? Yeah. Um, <laughs> that crazy. 
Yeah, so much coming out. Of course, uh, oh, we got you know the the uh, Avengers Endgame trailer dropped oh, a couple. Yeah. Um, well, by the time this episode comes out, it'll have been a few weeks, but mm-hmm. uh, um, for us, it was a couple days ago. Yeah, and, and if you guys are watching, and just let us know what you want to, because until someone be, like 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 my cousin who came is like, I want to see Harry Potter stuff. Until someone comes up and says that, we're just gonna be doing what we feel like is best for yeah. our knowledge. Until you say, oh, I want to watch, I don't know, I want to see Black Clover stuff. I want to see like some show or movie, Elseworlds or potential yeah. uh, Black Lightning or you no know, Marvel, Captain Marvel or something. Until you guys say you want to see that stuff, we're just going to go by the opinions you already gave us and stuff that we think is good. Like this Pokemon one, we talked about it like, what, two days ago? Yeah. I know I told you about one about the future of Gohan, his mm-hmm. character. We, and we talked about it in our last video we recorded. Now, we do have, like, a really, really special Star Wars episode in the works, mm-hmm. but there's a lot of moving parts that are going into that, so mm-hmm. it's going to be a while before that comes yeah. out, um, because we really want to make sure that we really get it down the right way, uh, mm-hmm. we want to do it, uh, you know, there's a couple of friends we probably mm-hmm. want to bring in on it, and mm-hmm. uh, one of them may be coming in over Skype, yeah. so we're trying to f- figure that out, like I said. There's a lot of moving parts going into that one, and it'll probably be an extended episode, which will end up breaking into like two, maybe even three parts um, once it gets uploaded to YouTube. Yeah. Um, we also want to talk about The Walking Dead. Yep. I know I have a friend who says she wants to come on and talk about The Walking Dead because she loves The Walking Dead. And I want to talk about Kingdom Hearts because it's almost here. Yep. And, and I'm stupid, so I don't know everything, but I know a friend who I call Queen because she's the Queen of Kingdom Hearts, who I'm pretty sure she will lend us her time and, and everything. Oh, yeah. she, and she knows everything, dude. Yeah. Like, everything. And that's the thing we're, we're working on, too, is having guests. Mm-hmm. You know, not just by Skype, but having people come in and sit down and, you know, talk with us Sorry, on subjects. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so like I said, uh, like I've said before, um, we're always looking at new ways to enhance the channel. Um, also, if anybody listening to this in the near future, um, has really good editing skills, um, or animation skills, or producing skills. Please, and you live and you live in the area. Um, please reach out to us. Well, not um, even that; they can live far away. We just send it. We're global. It'd just be easier if, <laughs> if they live near us, yeah. um, because then they could come in while we're recording and be right here. And yeah. um, but if you know. If you or anyone you know is interested in doing audio and video editing or uh, audio and video producing, um, please get in contact with us. We are looking for help with the channel, Um, meaning more people here physically, Um, because it really is hard trying to work our primary jobs and do this as well. Um, but, and we're trying to deliver the best show possible to you guys. <clears throat> so, like I said, uh, if you know, if you or anyone you know is interested in that, please, you know, you, you can message us on Facebook. Um, I'm working, at, at the time of this recording, I am working on getting the Twitter page up and running. We are looking into possibly an Instagram page. Mm-hmm. Um, and this may all be up by the time we publish this episode. Um, <clears throat> but we were, but we have, we also have an email, nerds make sense at yahoo.com. Mm. You can message us there with either your interest in wanting to help with the show or your ideas about what we should talk about. Yep. So please give us those. We we're essentially getting to the point to where we are relying on you guys for those ideas. Yeah. Cause other than that, I'm just texting John, Josh at like countless hours of the night. Exactly. I have an idea. <laughs> Dude, I'm working. Same thing, you know, same thing on my end. If, if something pops into my head, I'm sending, I'm shooting him a message yeah. like, hey, potential video idea. Um, you know, but we really would appreciate mm-hmm. feedback, um, ideas from you guys. Um, so, you know, like, comment, subscribe as always. Mm-hmm. Uh, leave your comments down below. Send us your emails. Uh, hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram when we get those up and running. Facebook's already going. Uh, For those of you who don't know, Facebook's already going. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, 
until the next one, I guess. <laughs> we'll see you later. Adios, guys.